What do women in Funko Pop vinyl collecting have in common? They both make you broke. <laughs> but, um, what is up everybody and welcome back to this right here, the only channel on YouTube where the Star Wars prequels don't exist. I'm your host Eli. First and foremost, I wanted to apologize for not posting my Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, season 3 episode 2 discussion. I wasn't able to see it, but I will be trying to do a discussion for the second episode and the third episode for next week. And I didn't have time to film Funko Friday last week. I had some stuff going on. But nonetheless, I am back and I will be giving you something special. I'm going to be doing three reviews today. And if you didn't know, this week is New York Comic Con. So I'm going to be reviewing some stuff I picked up from Hot Topic. I went ahead and picked up a Vampire, ja uh, Vampire Teddy and Jack Skellington. I also picked up a Patina Cthulhu. Uh, and a very awesome and special... Game of Thrones throne. So, uh, you know, I'm not, I don't really collect those lines, but they were too cool to not pick up. So, anyway, let's go ahead and let's jump into the review, shall we? Let's go! Alright, so here we go, right off the bat. I'm gonna start off with the Patina Cthulhu. He is number three in the book series. And, we, you know, we've actually seen something like this before with Comic Con a few years back. They had a Batman, and. It was the exact same thing, and it is a pretty penny, so, you know, I'm not going to be able to pick that one up. But I was able to pick this one up, and he looks freaking awesome. Love the way they do it. Like, the texture on the paint of, like, the rustiness just looks really cool. It looks like a statue. One thing that does bother me, though, is, like, this right here on his head. Like, you can see the gap where his tentacles and his head meet. But other than that, the details on this little figure are freaking cool and awesome. And if you are lucky, you can go ahead and you can pick him up at Hot Topic. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do uh, Jack and Vampire Teddy. Now, I have a little trouble with Jack standing. He, see how he's, you know, wobbly? Uh, now, here's the Vampire Teddy up close. Uh, he is number 158 in the Disney series. Um, let's get a closer look at him. You know, if you've seen the movie... He's very minor, but it's freaking awesome. He's one of those characters, you know. Um, these look like they glow in the dark, but they don't. I've already tested it out. Uh, it's good to look at Jack. He's in this really cool stance that, personally, I like. Because at the end of The Shining, in the picture, that is the same stance that Jack is standing in in the picture. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Get a closer look at him. See, the, the paint on him makes it look like he glows in the dark. Um, there's really not much detail on this one. He's pretty plain, I guess. But, see, there you go, them standing together. See, and he tips over. Unless he'd stand him right. And finally, here we have the amazing, the awesome throne from Game of Thrones. So, I, I don't really watch Game of Thrones, but I thought this was super freaking cool. You know, like the little details and the little swords and just the fact that they made it for any fan, I guess. it. You don't even have to watch the show to know that this is a freaking cool item to have. And I was wondering when I picked this up, who would go great sitting on this throne? So who other than the one true king of Pride Rock, Scar? There you go. See, there he is sitting in his little throne watching all over all the other little losers so yeah I mean see you can you can practically have anyone in here you know every everyone fits pretty well uh, even this guy book of life but yeah these were all pretty cool figures to pick up you know let's take a look at how Katu looks in it I see he's too big he's freaking huge here's a little comparison just so that you can see how big he is compared to freaking Jack Skellington see Jack Skellington's being a pain in the butt to stand but see they're they're really they're really you know different in size but yeah so there you have it there you have the patina cthulhu the jack with vampire teddy and the throne from game of thrones there you go boys and squirrels that was my review of the nycc comic-con 
Funko Pop vinyls. Uh, there's some other pops that I actually did want to pick up that aren't going to be sold necessarily at retailers for retail value. I actually like that they're doing that with Comic Con now because, you know, it sucks for the people who can't make it. And, you know, they get to pick them up at stores like Barnes & Noble and Hot Topic. And I think that's really cool that they do that, you know. So, some other ones that I was looking to pick up was an orange glow in the dark cat bug. And there's going to be a two-pack with Fry and Leela from the alternate universe. So, they have, like, different hair and different clothes and everything. Anyway, that's what I'm going to try to pick up if I can. So, hope you liked my review. Let me just show you how I have set up my Iron Throne, if you can't already see in the background. You cannot tell me that does not look badass, him sitting up there. I mean... Scar, you know, be prepared for the chance of a lifetime. So anyway, if you like this, if you like what you saw, like this video and want to see more, subscribe. Don't forget to hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. And don't forget just to stay awesome. And also, keep your eye out for Monday's video because it's going to be a really awesome special treat for you Walking Dead fans. So, like this video, subscribe. Don't forget to stay awesome. Stick with me and